Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. As much as I love this DeWalt DXCM303 compressor, there's still a couple things that I would do differently and that I can solve with some aftermarket gear. Hey, let me show you as I pimp my compressor. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. So far, we are loving this DeWalt DXCM303 upright single stage compressor. It is really a workhorse. It's doing very nicely. And if you want to check out our review video where we walk through the features of this and uh, how it works and some of the specifications, just check out that video right above. But there are, even as much as we love it, some things that we would like to accessorize uh, and actually improve the performance or the convenience of working with this compressor. There's three of them and I wanna show you. Well, let's start with the first one, which is upgrading the air filter, the air intake filter. As you see over here on this compressor, it's a very small little filter that it comes with. There it is right there. There's not very much uh, surface area as, you, area, as you can see. We've hardly used this, this is brand new. There's no dust on it. But in a shop environment, it's only gonna take just a little bit before this is packed out. You'll be blowing it out, replacing it. And it's kind of a constricted space to pull air through. So we know there is a better solution. And we found this aftermarket larger capacity filter. And I'm gonna take this apart and show you why it's superior. And if you check out the link below in the description, I give you the source where I got that. You can go and purchase one of them for your compressor. And uh, it's a standard half inch NPT of in thread here that's gonna go into the head. Uh, but let's go ahead and take this apart and show you why this is a much superior approach to what comes stock with the machine. All right, let's go ahead and take off the outer cover, standard wing nut arrangement with a um, poly washer on it right there, a nylon washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside. Let's pull off the outer cover. Very substantial, very nice, uh, very thick. And then here is the filter that comes in that one. How about the air surface across here that where it can be pulled through the filter? A uh, lot more cleaning power and less restriction of the air being pulled into the head of the air pump. Then here is the base with the mounting the screw at the top, and this is the airport where um, air is pulled into the unit, meaning that this also acts somewhat as a muffler because one of the noisier areas of a compressor is the intake, the air intake. So by uh, kind of making the path to the inner workings of the head a little bit more meandering, that's gonna suppress noise a bit here. Uh, this is a really straightforward change out. We're gonna put a little bit of Teflon tape on that and then we'll go and install it. All right, the correct way to apply Teflon tape is to go clockwise around the thread and you're gonna start at the base. Uh, standard pipe thread is tapered. Uh, this doesn't appear to have much taper but you're gonna start here, hold it and then wind clockwise and as you do, play out the tape, stretch it onto the threads, and you want at least three wraps. Now here's a pro tip. Do not take the tape all the way up to the top edge of the threads right there. Doing so, uh, it doesn't hurt anything, it just makes it a lot more difficult to thread uh, the pipe into the, re the uh, recepting side over here, okay? Now that we have this prepared for installation with the Teflon tape, let's go ahead and move it over here. Let's remove the other whole unit out and the, it just comes right out. There it is. Uh, and let's now install this in the same place. There it goes. And you don't need to super thread this on. You're not trying to bust anything. The Teflon tape is there to make it easier also to remove. So that feels good. I don't wanna draw down too heavily on that. And let's go ahead and install 
back the filter that goes here. Let's put on the washer. And here. And there is upgrade number one is completed. Easy, easy, easy. Much better filtration system. Uh, and will keep the air intake much cleaner over a longer period of time. And those filters are easily replaceable and economical. All right, let's go to upgrade number two. The second improvement that we're going to do is when we go to change the oil, we don't want to take in and out that plug using that 5 16 uh, hex key. Instead, what I'd like to do is just to be able to open a valve uh, that'll handle enough pressure that does get built up in the air pump uh, when it's running. But we'll simply install, this is standard 3 8 pipe over here, we'll remove that at the next oil change, put this unit in along with the valve right there that allows us to open and close the valve. I'll actually put another elbow over here so it's more like a spigot and a place to hang a bucket on the side. Now the advantage of this is I can change oil, There's, it's twofold. One, I can change oil very quickly by opening, closing, and of course removing the top plug to, to break any vacuum and help it to run. And then you wanna do that, by the way, when the oil is warm, when it's been running for a bit so that it drains completely and runs easily, lowers the viscosity, etc. The second advantage is, notice where the placement of this is, and that's pretty necessarily where it needs to be. But if I take that out, I'm gonna have a lot of oil dribbling here. I'll have to make some little pan to drain it off or whatever. So I'd rather get where the oil exits out away from all this and I can put a catchment over here on the side without dealing with oil running down the front of this and fiddling around with that. So that'll be a future one. And when we get this all installed and it's home in here, we'll show it all completed. But I think you can see what we're doing here. Uh, you can rig it the way you'd like. One other thing I want to mention to you uh, is my friend Dave over at Salt Lake Compressor pointed out um, that you do not need to take all the air out of the tank, which the, the manual says you do before you change oil here. Dave said that's not true. Uh, he asked me the question, are you going to change the oil when the compressor's running or when it's not running? And I said, well, not running, of course. He said, there's no pressure in there. There's a bleed off valve, which you always hear at the end of a cycle of compressor, that it's bleeding off the pressure in the air pump for the simple reason that you don't want it to start on its next pressurization cycle under load. It has to be with no pressure, no load, so it can start up and begin its pressurization. So he said, there's no problem here uh, of changing the oil even if there's air in the tank down here, the air is not going to come back through here. There's valves and, and uh, that sort of thing that stop that from happening. Dave, thank you. You're the rock star of air compressors. All right, there's the third enhancement that makes it a lot easier to keep this baby in tip-top shape. Here we go. The third one, it has to do with air tank maintenance. You have to drain the air out of this and accompanying water on an ongoing basis. I would say no less than once or twice a week. Well, to do that, look where the valve is at the bottom of this. And if it is just set here, and it's the right place for it, it's the lowest point in the tank where the water is going to collect and you need to collect that water, it will form, even with moderate humidity in the air, as air is compressed, it's gonna yield the water, and that water is gonna collect in the tank. Well, you need to drain that out. Well, you can imagine once a week saying, uh, I gotta get down on my hands and knees or lay down on my side and reach under there and open the valve a little bit and let it blow out or bleed off the tank, et cetera, et cetera. Well, there's a better way, and here it is. DeWalt themselves offer a solution to this problem. They have what's called an extended tank drain valve assembly. It is part number DXCM072-0023. And you can buy one of these. I think this is about $20. And what you see on one end 
is threading with threading compound that replaces the valve at the bottom of the tank and then extends out a valve further out with enough thread on it that you could put a mounting ring, a mount, something that makes it easy to operate this valve on and off and to direct that stream of air and water safely away from you and your eyes and ears and all that sort of thing. So this is a really quick, easy upgrade that makes it really easy to take care of your equipment and not avoid doing so. You want these pieces of equipment to last a long time and these upgrades will help you to accomplish that. Something else that's really important to take care of this compressor, uh, these oil types, is to use dedicated genuine compressor oil. Check out this video where we tell you the difference between compressor oil. No, it's not a gimmick to sell you more in expensive product that really does have characteristics that'll save the life of your compressor. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you. And we'd like it if you'd watch it as well. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay with Dirt Farmer Jay enjoying my pimped out compressor.